hear ye, hear ye, hear ye, is the sound that this alleged home wrecker, Fonnie Willis, 14th County District Attorney, Fonnie Willis. You know the Fonnie Willis that keeps talking about Donald Trump. I'm not a Donald Trump fan, but she walks around her like she's a symbol of morality. Well, you know that she's been accused of being a home wrecker. And now this piece of trash, and I'm going to call her a piece of trash because she's a piece of trash in my opinion. Let me tell you why. This man, Special Prosecutor Michael Wade, got the job one day after filing for divorce. He, she's accused him. She said that he's been a mentor. I've already made a video about these two idiots. And I'm going to call them idiots. Let me tell you why they're idiots. Well, Michael's not an idiot because he has enough sense not to say anything. Whether she says she's a, having a affair with this man or not, that's neither here nor there. This woman went to Martin Luther King, an event for Martin Luther King, as I said in my last video, and had the audacity to say the race and all these other things. Oh, no, 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 no. But since then, let me tell you what she had the nerve to say about this woman who's accusing Michael Wade of leaving her with $700 every two weeks in the bank account. What he's made close to $800,000 since he's been working on this case. Now, where all this money is coming from, who knows? But she says that he's a superhero. He's not a superhero. He's a fucking jerk. And this man is going to be the reason why Fonnie and Michael Wade be in the unemployment line. Not only would they be in the unemployment line fooling around with Michael Roman and his high-powered attorney, they're going to mess around and be publicly humiliated. Listen to people that look like me and look like Fonnie and look like this lady behind this. I'm never a Donald Trump fan, let me just say that. But at the end of the day, it's right, it's right and it's wrong. You can't call the kettle black if you're the one that's burning the damn kettle. In this country, I keep telling you guys, if you com commit adultery, especially if you go to church because this is where she was at, the Bible says thou shalt not commit adultery. And that's what the Bible say, because y'all always see at the church, I guess, reading out of it. According to the law, because she's a lawyer, and the little man that she went over there to hire to prosecute this criminal case that was working over, over there at the, um, I think it was a family law or civil law judge or whatever the hell he was, it wasn't a criminal lawyer. She gave him a come up, and she referred to him as a mentor. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something, women of all races. Learn how to wear a poker face. Learn how to take your prop. Whatever, whatever you got going on with a man, that has nothing to do with his wife, ma'am. Now, I'm not accusing this woman of being a home wrecker. I'm glad that his wife leaving him. I'm glad that he leaving his wife. But you got to pay, brother. You can't just get up and leave. I mean, you got that real big old check. You got that real big check. And if I was his wife, I'm going to need half of that. Then I would turn right back around and sue Fonny Wills, Willis for defamation of character. Oh, you guys do know that this Fonny Willis, I keep calling her Williams. You guys do know that Fonny Willis um, practically told on her own self. You know, see, when a woman starts acting emotional and speaking negatively of another woman, it's a clear sign that something's wrong. Because, see, this is a problem with a lot of you women. I'm a woman. But I don't act like this because I had a father. So listen, when you are, let me say this, to any woman that's out there sleeping with another woman's man, not accusing this woman because she haven't been found guilty. Even if you're not sleeping with him but you're too emotionally involved, you don't have a right to accuse anyone, Fonnie Willis, of conspiring. See, when you start saying people are conspiring, that's how most, it takes two people to put a plan in motion. And according to the federal government, if two people conspire to do something, then they could conspire to take their ass to jail 
to federal prison. Depending on what you're conspiring about. Now, this woman is going through the media accusing this lady of having an affair with that man, best friend. Uh, excuse me, bitch. What business of it, yours? I'm going to call you a bitch because guess what? It's not your fucking business who his wife chose to sleep with. If she did, you don't know how many affairs that man may have had in 27 years. He could have been fucking you the whole time. Fonnie Willis. I don't know why. Because his wife is killing you in the looks. His wife is killing you in the body. His wife is killing you in the class department because he has enough sense to her. Her lawyer said, we don't have a comment. Now, if you are in love with that man, you may as well stay with him. Because y'all, I'm telling you, I am not a Trump fan when it comes to politics. But when it comes to him being shrewd and manipulative and a dirty, conniving-ass person, oh, yeah, y'all going, he's about to keep, and excuse me for all the people that's very conservative. I just, certain stuff bring a different reaction down to me. But anyway, y'all listen to that boring-ass nose anyway, so just let me say this. Let me tell you something. You in a different ball game, young lady. They are about to keep your last bottom your ass. You keep talking about the race court. You see this lady behind you, beautiful black sister. It's a whole lot of people that look like her and look like you that are down to Trump supporters. And they will have your ass. They will be outside your office protesting because they love Donald Trump so much to show you that it's not about race. Because a lot of black people that don't want y'all to know, I'm not one of them, but there's a lot of black people who are Republicans. There's a lot of black people that run up in that Capitol building. There's a lot of black people that wear the Magna hats. There's a lot of black people that have a whole lot of money. There's a lot of black people in Atlanta that really are Trump supporters that are someone, a lot of black people to know that. If I was Joycelyn, that's why she's not saying anything. I don't care. Cover your ears, church folks. I don't give a fuck, Bonnie Willis. If Joycelyn was fucking 15 men, guess what? Those 15 men were not her husband. And if her husband decided to stay with her at the numerous affairs, it's not your business. Because the difference between her, the um, Joycelyn, and you, Joycelyn is not a public figure. Luckily, she had a provider husband that allowed, for, afforded her the opportunity to just be beautiful and stay at home. And so she could focus on raising upstanding, upstanding citizens. Now that her children are grown and she's still young enough to move on with her life, and find a very another man or she just want to be single maybe she just want to take part of that multi-million dollar i mean that um i think it was six hundred ninety thousand. let's say 750 whatever now that's just rounding up to a million maybe she just want to sit at home and with her feet crossed her drinking a glass of wine looking out the window thanking god for that troublesome man who you don't know what the hell they done put up through the 25 to 27 years. And you don't know what they put each other through. So, if you're going to be the other woman, and you need to know how to stay in your place, ma'am. Act like you're still the mistress. If you was the mistress, I'm not saying you were. This is for all these women. That's always listening to every damn thing these men say. A man will play your ass like a piano to get to the next spot. That man, Michael Wade, got a lot of game because guess what? You're doing all the talking about his wife and he haven't said a motherfucking thing. You out of pocket, you out of line, and you making yourself look like a, a, a deranged in love groupie. Take your heart out of your motherfucking chest and put it in your pocket because you will be on the unemployment line fooling around with Michael Roman and Donald Trump and the rest of those people that um, been in corporate America, raised with a certain privilege. That you don't have. I mean, you really like, but you're not white. In no way am I saying that white people are superior to us. I'm just saying, you didn't come from that cloth. You know, a privileged cloth. Not, not, not only are you not white, you weren't born with a privilege of being wealthy. Because if you was born with a being wealthy, I'm talking about black people too. It's a lot of black people that was born wealthy. It's a lot of black people in Atlanta that got kids. There's new money. And them kids been rich all their life. So it's not just about black and white. It's about economics. 
It's about education and it's about connections. Michael Roman is a shark and he got a shark lawyer. Notice he's trying to get his cell phone off that case. He not to worry about nobody else. He's going to drag your ass through the mud and he's going to pop up. Watch and see. I know women. I know how women are. I don't give a damn if you the scrammiest woman to the squarest woman. I know how they are. That woman is being quiet for a reason. If he's accusing you of being on all these trips, baby girl, pack your shit. Get out of that Fulton County, um, you know, district attorney office. And this prosecutor that you went over and got from that family law center, that civil law, wherever the hell you got it from. He one of the coldest players in the world. But he can't, he, he's stupid because let me, let me tell you what he should have did. He should have been like a woman. You know how a woman, you know how when a man got a lot of money and a lot of power, when they chase you, you keep telling them, no, 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 no. And they keep giving you stuff. Oh, let me buy you a house. Oh, you, you need this, you need that. You say he your mentor. He's your mentor, but the difference is you became the district attorney. And he was a judge, but he was a judge not on the criminal level. If they find any pictures of you and him halfway naked, gallivanting around anywhere, or those four or five places that she said y'all went on vacation, her lawyer said it. I mean, now her lawyer didn't say anything. Like a Roman claimed it. Whether she gave him the information or not, guess what? She's a civilian. She can be a witness. Or she can be a witness because she don't work for the government. And even if she did work for your prosecutor office, she still could be subpoenaed. Just like your ass is about to be subpoenaed on, um, you have until February 2nd to figure out what you're going to do. And you're going to be at the hearing on February the 15th. Uh, ma'am, ma'am, uh, sir, sir, excuse me, sir. The one that don't have anything to say, let me tell you something about a man. The divorce is not final, allegedly. A man will play your ass like a piano and go chasing his wife, begging and groveling on his knees after she done fucked everybody and dogged him out. Stay out of those people. Marriage, if you know you're in the bed with that man. This is what's wrong with people. You fumble the bag. I'll give you this. I'll work, work hard. I'm a better woman for you. I'm a better woman for you. And guess what? He'll use you to get to the top and then blame you for all this problems he having. You and him both. If y'all are in love, then that means y'all love to supply. Y'all, you guys love to survive being unemployment. Just go write a book about it. Don't nobody want to hear your Mother King birthday stand up there talking about race, Mother King, and all those people walked across the bridge, got hit with water hose, begged to be able to sit at the table with some white people. Go to school. So you grow up and get a chance to go to school only for you to fuck up an opportunity to, to prosecute the former... Listen, listen her ding back. You went to school because Martin Luther King, even the Black Panthers, even the nation... Well, they weren't called the Nation of Islam back then, but even the Black Muslims, the Black Panthers... The civil rights groups, even the guardian angels and all these people, even though they was way after, I'm just giving you a bunch of different black groups. They got sprayed with tear gas. They got beat and called niggas just to be able to go sit in a restaurant with a bunch of Caucasians that look like Michael Roman. And you got the motherfucking audacity to get educated in their school system whether it was with affirmative action with your job, whether it was with, um, I forgot what they call it, a program for the kids to get a chance to go to college. Whatever it is, you're going to make yourself and our people look like a goddamn fool. You're not going to make our people look like a damn fool. You're going to make your own self look like a damn fool. And all those old, um, I help you old ass females. I, 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 I give you a better car. Come on over and leave your wife. Baby, listen to her. A man leave his motherfucking wife for you. He ain't, he's not worth helping. Because a man that's a man, he going to say, hey, baby, listen, it's not working. What can we do? Like Michael, like Jeff Bezos did. Remember Jeff Bezos want to be with that woman? Him and his wife got a divorce 50-50 down the motherfucking middle. So fast, a hundred some million dollars. And she married to a school teacher now. 
And he happy with who he is. Bill Gates, the white man, same way. You should have made sure that that man took care of his wife financially. But you're so busy, want to be all help me, oh, pick up a, pick up a motherfucker, try to make them something. You're so busy trying to prove you're a good woman. And you may not be having a farewell. But you're doing something. They said that he flying y'all around on his money. Well, why wouldn't he? You, if, you, if you're the reason why he got it, why wouldn't he spend it on you? That's not nothing. That's not, a, not anything grander. That's what a player do, baby. He going to fuck you good, whisper sweet nothing, and spend all the motherfucking money that you put him in position to make. And you going to be homeless. And job. Not just homeless. You're going to be jobless. And a public embarrassment. So you could take your ass back to this Martin Luther King church and have them pray for you when you lose your job. Because there's going to be a whole lot of people that look like me and you. Oh, they did that wrong. Stop making excuses for this bad behavior. Because she always got something to say. And how dare you sit up there and talk about that lady um, had an affair with somebody. Bitch, it's not your motherfucking business to go up there and talk. You're going to try to put another woman down because she fighting the law? You fight Donald Trump and you complain about a motherfucker put threats against you. So how the fuck you going to stand on with a motherfucking church? I mean, stand in front of the, a white media and beat another black woman down because she have the nurse to go up against you and that motherfucker that she married. You got, you got a lot of motherfucking nerves.